trap tales. Trap tales. You don't really know about them trap tales. You don't really know about them blow sales. You don't really know about them trap tales. DDS was good, my DDS family, man. Detroit was popping. You know what it is. Another exciting episode of Detroit Trap Tales. Now, before I get started, I want to let y'all know I'm doing something different today. I'm trying not to cuss, so don't provoke me and try to make me do something I don't want to do. Thank you. Now, today's ghoulish tale is called Eastside Deal Gone Bad. Oh, yeah. This is the uh, a story of uh, greed and uh, 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 mayhem. And shh, you can't say certain words on here. They'll take all year to try to monetize this video. Now, but you know what time it is. I'm going to bring this story back to the best of my ability. Now, 99, if you know, you know, 98 until uh, the middle of 2000, early 2000, about 06. You know, um, Bowles was in, Reggie's. So, if you was really trapping, man, you was popping off. You know, it wasn't enough, it wasn't enough uh, uncommon for you to might pop off uh, five, ten here, twenty there, thirty there, fifty there, all day long. That's how it was back then. So it wasn't nobody buying no bags. Everybody was selling them, and the bowls was popping like in quantity. So, like I said, if you know, you know. So, my man from Ohio, he lived. He my man, but he my partner man, too. It's really my man's man. That's how I met him. So anyway, whatever, whatever. We all worked together back then. So he get the call in on the plate for 20 of them. He hit my line. Boom. Whoa, whoa. We, this ain't nothing new. We do this all the time, all day long. So he hit my line. Bop, it's on the floor. So now nah, I got to try to touch down on the bag, though. So sometimes, you know, it'll be tight because everybody rocking like that. So they was gone. You get 100 things, they gone that same and within hours, it's over for Because all the hustlers coming to eat. That's how it was. You chase that bag. Boom, 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 boom. Let me not get off track, though. So I called this one time. I'm calling around to all my main players, but ain't nobody hitting. Ain't nobody answering. They ain't got it. It's all bad. So I call the guy. You know who I deal with sometimes. He kind of iffy because he's not really a major player. He's just a middle man, a little dirt hustler or whatever. And uh, he was cutting hair with him. You know, fake bobbing. So now I hit his line. Boom. He like, yeah, pop at me. I go up to the shop. Now, usually when I deal with him, it's only like, like uh, you know, a five piece, maybe six of them. Nothing really major. So this time, I'm so desperate, you know, I'm trying to, I got to make the play come. My man already like 30 minutes away from the O. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. So now I tell dog I need the 20 ball. He like, bet, it's on. But I get up there, he ain't got it. So now he like, yeah, you got to link up with this other nigga. Ah, uh, but you know, I'm not really thinking nothing. To this day, I don't know if dog was on the plate. Y'all let me know what y'all think at the end of the video. So now, I hop in for some reason. I'm with his man, right? And his man's going to take me to another one of his mans who got the bag. But this on the east side. Now, as soon as I, now listen, I got love for the east. I got a lot of partners and the close friends and fam on the east. But I'm not going to front like y'all just some cool guys. As soon as I heard the East, I said, oh, man. I knew, you know, it's a 90% possibility that it's going to go bad because every time I had a play on the East, it was always going bad. They ain't never got no money. They just want to, <laughs> they want to take your bag. I'm like, man, come on, man. Said, no, no, no. Everything is straight. So, you know, I, I was a trapper holly, man. You know, I couldn't let nothing slide for me. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Boom. So now my man, first and foremost, I called my man to slide behind me. It's the guy who put the play together. I don't know how the guy, how the play was in the car with me or whatever. But anyway, we link up at some gas station on the east side. So now all the sticks is in the car with my man. The guy with the cash is in the car with me, but some guy I don't even know who drives. So the whole play is, dog going to follow me. If I'm at the gas station for like 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying, leaning. So dog probably spinning blocks watching to see how we move. Because at this point, we three cars deep. So now... Nah, I don't know, the third car came about 20 minutes later because we saying that so long. So now it's three cars. It's me, the money, and the unknown guy. There's the car behind me with the sticks, and there's the car behind him with some more sticks. So now this guy finally pulled up in his pickup truck. So I'm thinking, you know, they in the back. So he pull up, whoa, 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 whoa. 
dog who put the play together, he hit my line. Like, yeah, dog up there in the woo woo. So I hop out. I pop it, dog, where they at? So I'm like, they in the back. I'm pulling the thing up. Ain't nothing back there. Where they at, bro? I know. We just got to go around the corner. Uh oh. This another sign. And on the east side, they talking about they ain't got to go around the corner. I'm knowing this, so I'm knowing. But I'm still, you know, uh, putting my trust in these clown niggas who, uh, you know, who behind the play. So anyway, I'm following. Boom. So he following. He's driving fast. <laughs> he's spinning quick block. I must have been blowing. I know ecstasy was in too back there. I might have been off one of them. I don't know. I wasn't thinking logically. So I'm following this fool. Some type of way, bro. <laughs> he done managed to make me lose both of my tails, and it's just me behind him. So now, once the tail's gone, instantly he got this spot right. So he pulled up to some house. It's all good. My man, I tell dog, yo, back in this thing, man. He talking about pulling the driveway. Ah, oh, back in. Now, the first key things that's clicking in my head is how the grass is not cut and how dark it is in the house. You know, I'm always looking around. Like I said, I was a trapper hauler. I'm, I'm looking for danger. Ain't nothing clicking right. I don't know why I'm still moving on this plate. So I hop out. I say, well, where's that, man? He said, yeah, dog uh, dog in the back with it. Oh, the back with it. <laughs> so I said, dog, who got the money? You just stay here, man. The nigga in the pickup truck, he in front of the house. The house is looking too abandoned. So I, I go to the back. I say, bro, you wait here. I'm going to go check it out first. I go in the back. I can't make this up, bro. I go in the back. It's a guy back there with a hoodie, black hoodie on, some cockabugs all in. He just came about the alley. He, <laughs> I look at his coat. I look at the, uh, I look at the alley. It's like, oh no, it's Ching Chong. So now I look at the door. The door clearly been kicked open. It's dark as a fool down there. Ah, so all this adds up to this thing trying to stuff me in this basement. So I say, man, where, where, the, where is that? He said, where the money at? I don't worry about the money. The money ain't far. My man about to pull up. Where that, where that's at though? So now. Nah, he like this in the bag. Hmm. I don't know how he got enough air out his lungs to blow up a black garbage bag. I'm not making this up, bro. So I say, man, pop it up. Let me check it out. He like, no, I gotta see the money first. So I'm like, no, let me see the shit. So I'm trying to reach at it. He like, no, 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 no. So I kick it. <laughs> Boom, man, I kick that bag. It went up in the air like a hot air balloon. It said, Whoo, and floats back down. So bam, I look at this thing. He look at me. So. As I'm looking at him, I'm like, no, this thing about to be crazy. So I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the bags holding the air. I'm looking at the cocker balls. I'm looking at the kicked in dough. Now I didn't kick in. This is a crazy place. But after the bag landed back on the ground, dog, bro asked me again. He said, man, so where the buddy at? <laughs> I said, yeah, all right, wait right here. Why the stupid ass? Look, the guy who got the money, he didn't hop to about the car. As I'm walking back, I'm like, he here, I'm here. I'm, with, he, I'm at the midway mark. Boom, he hop about the car and flash the 20. Like, bro, I got the money. Just what's up? I said, make it your dumb ass back in the car. Boom. So if he's saying that, I see my man get to reach the phone. I hop back in the car and said, dog, go. The unknown driver. Go, driver. No, I, I messed the story up. I came back. Before all that even happened, bro, he didn't let me touch the bag the first time. I came. I sent dog back there, the driver. So he like, man, that bag ain't right. So that's when I went back and uh, kicked the bag. So after that, dog still asked me for the money. I'm like, man, this nigga crazy, bro. Now, I ain't got no throttle on me. I just shot him right in this stupid talking mouth. But I ain't got nothing. I'm just, I done lost my tail. I'm out there naked. So anyway, I get back to the car. So dog, get back in the car with the money, fool. So boom, I hop back in the car. Wop, the unknown guy. Hit the gas. I'm on the phone. I peep. The whole time, I'm on the phone. Though. I done put like, my, I'm on the phone talking to bro. And... He keep asking me where I'm at. This before I even got out the car. I can't see the street light, the street sign because how it is, man. I'm just, the trees was blocking it. So I'm like, I don't know, bro. So now after I've told dog, let's fast forward back to me getting in the car. We gone. So now I see the other nigga on the, on the phone laughing. The guy in the pickup truck. I'm like, bet. I'm just adding up the body. So say, we gonna spin back around. One nigga did, two niggas. Boom. So I'm like, go. So now I can see the sign. I'm like, I'm on such and such. I don't even know where I was at now. I'm on such and such. Boom. He's like, all right, bet. I'm right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm like, man, hit this block. So boom, we finally link up with bro. Hand me a throttle immediately, nigga. Let's spin. Follow me. So boom, so we swing back around. The unknown driver guy hit it. So boom, we swing. We get back around there. The pickup truck down. I swing about that bitch straight to the back. What dog at? What cocky bug at? He ain't nowhere. So boom, at the end of the day, now I saw. Now I got to start the second 
where did this sale go bad? So I got to link it back to the guy at the barbershop, right? Because how else? That was his man. So I'm telling dog, when I come back to the barbershop, he look at me like, oh, like he thought I was dead. So I'm like, nigga, what's up? You know, I'm trying to, but it's still, I'm trying not to believe it because why would you send your man to go die too? So I'm trying to think like, man, this nigga just a cuckoo. He, he sent everybody to die. <laughs> he ain't got no friends. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. What's the shady barber behind this whole play? I don't know. I just uh, I just stopped dealing with him because he was broke anyway. But at the same time, I do believe that at some point behind here, either he was behind it or he called somebody he really don't know and they was just going to jug him. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. That's it for this week, man. DDS, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on none of these Detroit Trap Tales. See y'all next time, man.